Well, welcome back. You know, it has been almost a month since a beloved historic bar caught fire here locally. The Monkey Bar and Grill in Mainville suffering a big, I mean, a massive kitchen fire at the beginning of the month. But the day of the fire, the owners told us that they would rebuild and they are. So today we're joined by the bar's owners, Mark and Amy Altemeyer. Thank you guys so much for being here. Oh, thank you for having yeah, us out. Yes, we appreciate you having us. So well, we can tell about everything the community's been doing for us and you guys have been through so much talk to us just first about the night of that fire um, my understanding is there were workers there during the day everybody leaves and then what was it like when you get that call and all of your hard work is literally up in flames well i'll say this um thank goodness in cincinnati red for playing on the west coast <laughs> and roy dello my bar beverage manager was at the bar he asked me if he could stay a little bit to watch the game so at uh, 12 15 he calls me i'm sleeping hey mark kitchen's on fire mm -hmm. and i jump up out of bed I, you know i live a minute away from the bar so i'm down there and i tried to go in that you couldn't see any flames it was just nothing but smoke so nothing we could do with fire extinguisher or anything so we waited for the fire department to show up they showed up real quick and put the flames out um and then uh that was pretty much it if roy wasn't there and the reds wasn't playing the building would have been mm, a major a major better. It was major already, but it would have mm -hmm. been a total and, loss. And from that, you know, we've continued to have blessings and support from the police, the fire department. Mm -hmm. um, not only were they there right away, but they also like stopped by every day to right. check and see how things are going. Um, the local businesses, of course, you've heard and probably seen our posts. We've had um, people from, uh, you know, a lot of our friends and people that are in the business, but um, Silver Spring House, Max Pizza, the Roses, Skyline, Blue Ash Chili, Nothing Bunk Cakes anyway. The, mm -hmm. the list goes on and on, but a lot of fundraisers too that they've raised money. Um, you might want to say yeah. something about all the fundraisers. You know, um, well, the Church at the Bar, the Monkey Bar has a Church of the Bar. Um, they've raised several hundred, several hundred dollars for, um, for the staff. Uh, D1 Cartridge, D1 uh, Fitness and Cartridge Brewery they had a fundraiser for mm -hmm. us, for the staff. Uh, we've had Mason Deerfield Chamber of Commerce. They, they came out and uh, donated money from a fund that they have for the COVID relief fund that they, they, they captured. And it's just been, uh, so who else was there? <laughs> um, the Mason and, did you do the Mason, Mason and Deerfield you know what, Chamber and my staff of Commerce? Had a, you know, my staff mm -hmm. had a, uh, a car wash last Saturday. Mm -hmm. They raised a lot of money for the car wash. The fire department came out to support the, you know, the kids on that. It's a lot of fun. We've had a lot of community support and it's been, and it's been a blessing. It's been crazy. Obviously amazing. you talk about all that, even some of your workers, the staff have gotten involved. What has this meant to see this support from the community, the police and fire departments? What has that meant to you guys? We, I mean, I, we've just been in awe of everything, but you know, I think it, we're humbled and we've, there's been several times, we really haven't cried that much about the fire, but we've cried several times about mm -hmm the outreach of the community. It just really touches our heart that everyone cares that much. The staff has been unbelievable. They have worked so hard. We're so proud of them. Um, they've had to get dirty and um, they've been out every single day. The community comes and brings us food every day. Um, it's just really been amazing to see the, that their, bond, their, their bonding has been a great team um, building experience for the staff. So really, it turned out to be a blessing in disguise, all of us. Well, and, and let me just say kudos to you all too, because you've kept them employed, right? You know, I know yes. a lot of people, mm -hmm. uh, when, when, when they saw those flames, you know, these are people who rely on those, that day to day, that money coming in, if you're a server, exactly. bartender, and, and I think they were freaking out a bit, thinking, mm -hmm. oh my goodness, you have a lot of college students who just got home from college, they were looking forward to making some money, and, and that's a hot spot in that area, right. and you guys have been able to keep them, and you've treated your employees super well too so kudos to you okay so now to what I know a lot of you out there are saying well okay w are they gonna reopen what's <laughs> yeah. what's next you have some great news for us today yeah mm -hmm. so I've been working with the uh, my Warren County building and electrical department and fire department and then the insurance company the kitchen is is boarded up so there's under an investigation um, with the appliance and some stuff so that's that's all been that's taken care of there that side of it um, so I had an inspector, my inspectors came out today. Of course, I was here. So they're coming back tomorrow to walk through the building to, to get us opened up. Um, hopefully by tomorrow we'll be wow. clear to open up, get Duke Energy out quickly. Hopefully tomorrow we can make a phone call to Duke Energy to get the power turned back onto the building and we'll get back to operation. We, you know, the, uh, my bar is 
it's amazing how clean it is. My staff is just like kick butt cleaning this place up. <laughs> I mean, it's 99% wow. ready to go, yeah. ready to go. And so. that's amazing, obviously, for the holiday weekend. What are you guys expecting for this weekend? Well, we're not gonna open up this weekend, I'm sorry. So we're gonna go ahead, I think we're gonna open up, um, do a soft opening on Tuesday okay. or Wednesday with friends and family. Mm -hmm. And then that's, I think that's how we'll, we'll start it out, that way we can check all of our systems out and. And, and you'll do like to. you used to do with the food trucks and yes. all that. That's how it, of course, used to be. It's so you'll be served. Sure. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> but do you plan on eventually rebuilding the kitchen? Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Okay. Yep. Well, Mark and Amy, thank you so much for being here. I know it's been a chaotic yeah. couple of weeks for you, and I'm sure you're sure yeah. it's very worrisome. You know, mm -hmm. this is your livelihood, but mm -hmm. also taking care of all of the people who work for you. So we're so glad to hear you guys are going to be opening back up, and, and we can't wait yeah. to, to come. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. I've never been before, so Sheryl have to take me. It's fun. <laughs> yeah, it's a fun exactly. counting on her. It's exactly. a beautiful place. It, it is. is. Yeah, it is. We appreciate River. you guys having us well, here you. today Absolutely. so that we can yeah. tell thank you to all the community and and everyone for your support and even you guys. So Good. thanks for having us. Thank you. Congratulations thanks. on the, the reopening here. Thanks.